Did you know that you can create most products you use every day all by yourself? To create products like phone stand, cloth hangers, shoe hangers, small gifts, name plates and many other products, you don't need big factories with big big machines or complex manufacturing process of heating and cutting stuff. All that is enough is a 3D printer and a thorough knowledge on polyhedrons. A solid with flat faces is called a polyhedron. Now, to customize and create a lunchbox like this one, in a 3D printer, you need a thorough knowledge on the shape of this lunchbox, which is a polyhedron. In the previous video, we checked out that a polygon is a closed 2D shape with three or more straight lines. To learn about in detail or to recall those concepts, check out the link to that video, which is given in the description box. We ended that video by saying, we will learn more about polyhedron which comes from a polygon. Well, how does that happen? How do you create a polyhedron from a polygon? From this 2D shape. How can you create a space occupying, that is, a 3D shaped polyhedron with volume? It's pretty simple. This can be done by connecting the edges of a polygon and then covering each face of the polygon by a paper, we get a 3D shape that is a polyhedron. From this we understand that a polyhedron is a solid shape made of flat faces. Not just that, every face of the polyhedron is also a polygon. Singular is polyhedron and many polyhedrons will be called a polyhedra. There are some terms of polyhedron that we should know about. The point where two or more lines meet is called a vertex. The line where two flat surfaces meet is called an edge and every flat surface on the polyhedron will be called a face. Some examples of polyhedra are 3D shapes like platonic solids, prisms and pyramids. Platonic solids are also called as regular polyhedra. We call a polygon with equal sides as a regular polygon, right? In the same way, a polyhedron made from a regular polygon will be called a regular polyhedron. Likewise, a polyhedron made from an irregular polygon, that is, a polygon which does not have same equal sides will be called an irregular polyhedron. A polyhedron with identical sides and same cross-section area, that is, when you cut the shape anywhere across the surface, and if the area is the same, then such a polyhedron will be called a prism. So, some of the types of prisms are triangular prism, square based prism and pentagon based prism. A polyhedron created by connecting a base and an apex that is a point is called a pyramid. Just like prisms, there are many types of pyramids too. Some of them are triangular pyramids, square based pyramids and pentagon based pyramid. We saw examples of polyhedron that is platonic solids, prisms and pyramids, right? But if someone asks you to draw these on a paper, then how will you draw? To draw a square based prism or in simple words a cube, how will you draw it? First draw two squares close together like this and connect the diagonals together. That's all. This is a cube. To draw a triangular pyramid, first draw a triangle, then place a point above and then connect each vertex to that point. That's all. This is a triangular pyramid. 3D shapes like cylinder, cone and sphere cannot be examples of polyhedron because a polyhedron can have only flat faces. But these shapes have curved faces. That is why these will be examples of non-polyhedron. So, in this video, we checked out what is a polyhedron, its types and few examples. While in the next video, we shall check out simple polyhedron like cube and net of a cube. If you have liked this video, hit the like button. If you have found this video easy to understand and useful, share it with your family and friends. Do record your views in the comment section as this will encourage us to create more useful videos. Do not forget to subscribe to Fun Maths Academy channel to get constant updates on new videos we upload. Thank you.